Okay, we're gonna start off with a magical mentor award. It's our first award of this afternoon for individuals who have had a transformative impact on the trajectory of one or more startup companies. Here are your finalists. We have Doug Burkle, he's the executive director of Nexus New York Clean Energy Accelerator. Richard Honan, partner at Phillips Lytle, and Mike Reedlinger, program manager with High Tech Rochester. Congratulations. And your winner is Rich Honan. Wait till I tell my partners that I'm being recognized for non-billable hours. <laughs> Anybody can make money when you charge, but when you give it away for free, and that's a whole different business model. The strength of our upstate ecosystem is that everybody in this room is a mentor. Everybody who comes to this, these events, who goes to all the business plan competitions, the people who spend all the time talking to the entrepreneurs, it's, it's generationally agnostic, it's industry agnostic, it's a whole new paradigm because our region is so interconnected. So I, I thank everybody at UVC, I thank Martin and Nasser and Kate and the whole team, and I thank all of you for all of the work that you do, uh, all of the mentoring, all of the dedication, everything that everybody here has done to move the region forward. Thank you very much. Now, I don't know if everyone's going to get a picture with me, but Rich does have to leave a little early to take his kid to a soccer game. So, now let's get on to our next award. We have Campus Connector. Campus Connector is for individuals affiliated with an educational institution. It could be an administrator, it could be a student or an alumnus or faculty member who are leveraging on and off campus resources and connections to spin out research startups and or creating opportunities to retain entrepreneurial students. Here are your finalists. Matthew Cusack. He's the executive director of the Stack Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at Siena College. Laura Holmes, Assistant Director of the Office of Entrepreneurship and Innovation Partnerships at Binghamton University, and Tom Shriver, Executive Directed, uh, Director of the Center of Regional Economic Advancement at Cornell University. They don't make the titles easy to read. They're very smart. Uh, and your winner is Matt Cusack. I am shocked and surprised. Um, I guess the greatest gift is when you do something <clears throat> where you're giving back out of the gratitude from what you receive from the community and you get recognized like this, there is no higher honor. So Nasir, Martin, Chuck, Kate, thank you. Thank you for this. That's it. Okay. All right. Next up, Community Catalyst Award. Oh, well, there's Matt. Hey. Hey, this is actually a cool story. I'll just break away for a tiny little second here, if I can go back. 
So Matt is over at Santa College, right? And he is around uh, young student talent every day. And this team right here is the former Teach Me, now uh, bid to teach. They uh, were a member of the Starfast Venture Accelerator and they were in the graduating class uh, just last month. They're, they're doing amazing, but it's because Matt was on the ground. He had his eyes and ears open, searching for talent. He was willing to put in dedication and mentorship opportunities. So when Chuck and Nasser went to Startup Tech Valley and they heard the team pitch, they knew right then and there they wanted to pursue them and Matt assisted in doing that. So a, a, a fantastic little story there about Matt. Okay, but next up we do have Community Catalyst Award. It's for individuals who organize programs to bring together diverse startup ecosystem players in a local community and or increase the amount of capital and the number of active early stage investors in that community. Your finalists are. Richard Glazer, Senior Financial Advisor with Merrill Lynch, more recognized for his contributions with Rochester growth and community and rock growth events. Johnny Lahane, managing partner of the Hudson Valley Startup Fund. And Elisa Miller out, founding partner of Chloe Capital. Your winner is Richard Glazer. Johnny and Elisa, you are awesome, so please, thank you. Um, I'm going to make a few remarks because this is about Rochester growth, rock growth, and the community we're building. Various representatives are here. Numerous individuals um, have been helpful, not just in the Rochester area, but outside the area. And what rock growth is, for those of you who aren't familiar, is something, by the way, that I think every community in upstate can be doing. We share inspirational stories from our region's great innovators. Some of them are well known, some less known. Go to our website and you can watch these open interviews we conduct. They're inspirational, you can listen to them as podcasts. Um, and they're there for everyone, free. <laughs> we like to cause creative collisions. You might have heard that term. But business is a contact sport. It only occurs in venues like, it, it's, it's helpful to attend events like this and all the other amazing meetups that occur throughout upstate. We also are empowering a new generation. Um, I'm not all that young, but I like to consider myself a member of the new generation. Much of the new generation, though, is young, and we need new leadership in this area, and people are returning, and they have power, they have ideas and vision. We also are informed by equality of race, gender, class, and age, and I don't want to dismiss that. That stuff is an undercurrent that is dragging many, many regions throughout this country. And the bit more diversity we have, both age, gender, class, and race, the better we're going to be for it. So let's, shout, let's recognize it and do something about it. The other thing I want to share is that it's come up a bunch of times in various conversations today even about Rochester being identified as a potential candidate for the Amazon HQ2. Okay, I'm not putting my money on it. But what I'm saying is that we made the list. We have the ingredients. We need to work on the culture, and we need to build the ecosystem, and I make contributions to 501c3 UVC, Upstate Venture Connect. Let's support this community, let's support what got started here, and let's keep, we're gonna see in five, 10 years from now, a company of the status of Amazon recognize this area but we have work ahead of us, and let's take advantage of the opportunity. Thank you. I know, everyone wants a picture. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> All right, all right, let's get serious, let's get serious, let's get serious. We really do have a, a very important and special announcement, and Nasser Ali, the co-founder and CEO of Upstate Venture Connect, is going to come up on stage to tell us a little bit more.
Thanks, Catherine. Do both of these work or just one? Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> um, hi, ever, again, everybody. It's, uh, today is truly a, a special day for um, us here in uh, Syracuse and upstate and uh, in more so because we are here today because so many others sort of showed us the way. And um, as we look around, I'm reminded of how uh, I was here in Syracuse for the first time in 2004, and this building that we were in was abandoned and empty, and everyone had fond memories of their parents getting, uh, you know, having all their special moments of their lives being celebrated in this hotel, which was no longer functioning. Uh, and we opened the tech garden thanks to um, the vision of a number of leaders, uh, some of whom are here today in the audience, and. Last night, we had the opportunity to not just see the new generation of companies that Rick Clonin and his team are, um, uh, you know, helping accelerate through the Genius New York program at the Tech Garden, but we were also able to take a walk just a few blocks down to meet company after company that has come out of that program that has been assisted by our local um, mentors and investors and that is now uh, sort of on the path to success and growing and creating more jobs and really completely filling up our downtown to the point where the moment they open up a new apartment, it's taken, you know. It's amazing to see all of this happen, but it's also a moment for us to reflect on how this all got started and the people that were here uh, even before any of this, before the Tech Garden, uh, paving the way, pointing the way, and really believing in this future that we're living in today. And uh, one of my uh, personal mentors and someone that I owe an enormous uh, debt of gratitude to is David Allers, who uh, passed away two years ago. And, um, uh, you know, David uh, was one of the first people that I met that basically didn't have this concept of uh, location or space as a limiter. He, he had taught so many people so many things, and he had taken so many people under his wing. And when he was able to put together Cayuga Venture Fund along with some of his partners um, back in Ithaca in the early 90s, it was really a landmark movement. But since then, he was looking constantly to other communities to see who else could uh, take on that role, that mantle, that, that model, and try to put funds together, and when we first met, um, it just seemed like such a natural fit. He was like, okay, I know, I'll help you do this. And um, that was sort of something that, that I hadn't really expected, and he took it upon himself to really help educate not just me, but 41 other members of the Seed Capital Fund of Central New York. He became our professor, he became our mentor, he helped us learn how to do due diligence, how to understand and interview um, founders. And we've learned so much from him. And to the point where once Martin and I started Upstate Venture Connect, we really tried to take what he had given us without asking for anything in return and spread that to all of our friends in Rochester and Buffalo, in Eastern New York, in the Capital Region, in the Hudson Valley, and see to the extent that we could all share uh, you know, in what he had created and what he had learned and shared with us. So, um, in, in memory of David, um, uh, we have created uh, the Master Ecosystem Builder Award. And uh, I must say, before I go to the winner, <laughs> that, that we're thrilled that, that some of his friends and his wife Nancy can be here with us today. So, please join me in remembering David. <laughs> So this year's um, winner for the Master Ecosystem Builder Award, um, since this is a very personal thing for me, actually happens to be someone who joined David in helping us create the Seed Capital Fund and the structure around it. And that person is 
Monty Estes from Rochester. Monty just texted me this morning. He uh, had a health issue that prevented him from coming. So uh, if Sam Tickner from the Upstate Venture Association is in the room, could you come up and receive it on his behalf? Um, just a short story. So Monty offered to do all of the legal work for the Seed Capital Fund for free. And prior to that, he already laid the foundations of creating the Upstate Venture Association of New York and played a key role that he continues to this day as a member of the board, and Sam had the opportunity to work very closely with him. So we've asked Sam if you would accept this. Thank you, Nasser. Thank you. Okay, well, it's a real honor to accept this on behalf of Monty. I know that uh, Monty and his fit family, <clears throat> excuse me, were thrilled to just be nominated for the Community Catalyst Award. So winning this is gonna mean an awful lot to him. Um, and it's something that him and his family and his son Jay will be very proud of. And I too have known Monty for about 10 years and he's always gone the extra step by providing the paperwork, for instance, for the Seed Capital Fund. And he was a founder of the Upstate Venture Association in New York, which is now the Upstate Capital Association of New York. And so I think this is something Monty's gonna be very proud of. So thank you. I can't believe I haven't tripped on those stairs yet. Okay. Okay, next up <clears throat> is our Deal of the Year Award. Uh, this is a special award. Uh, out of our five award categories, this is the only one that uh, really caters to companies in upstate New York that are uh, either have had a successful exit or IPO. So this is uh, for a company whose exit has created wealth for investors, their employees, and the community, uh, has made the community a stronger contributor to our local economy. We spoke a lot about that this morning. Uh, we wanna nurture and encourage our high growth companies and our high growth founders because they truly are the backbone to a sustainable economy via job creation. So Ernst & Young is our awards partner for this year. Is there anyone from Ernst & Young that would like to come up? Yeah? Come on up. So I, hey, you, I'll give you a choice. You could have either one of these. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, would you like to read off the deal of the year? Am I putting you too much on the spot? Uh, hi, I'm Gene Gramza from EY in upstate New York, and I just wanted to say that we're very, very proud to be sponsors of this event. I didn't know that I'd be on stage, so I have no prepared remarks, but I do want to thank everybody for their support, and we really appreciate it. EY is uh, very, very proud of all of our relationships in up, upstate, and, and uh, today is no different. We're really, really happy to be here, so thank you. Okay, so here are your finalists. We have Ethanax. This is a Buffalo-based global biopharmaceutical company dedicated to the discovery, development, and commercialization of novel therapies for the treatment of cancer. CFO for Hire is an Albany company. They create cost-effective outsourced financial consulting, management, and accounting services. The acquisition will help the company's long-term sustainability, which will benefit its employees with more career opportunities, as well as the upstate startup market. And Commerce Hub, also out of Albany, a distributed commerce network that helped major retailers and brands achieve an estimated of 13 billion with a B, Matt Cusack, in gross merchandise value in 2016. The winner of Deal of the Year 2017 is Commerce Sub. Frank Por 
Kapoor is the CEO of Commerce Hub, which IPO'd in July 2016. His good friend David Wojcicki is here on his behalf to accept this award today. Actually, an uh, X E and Y guy, so X E and W. Actually, back then it was so long ago. <laughs> so uh, Frank actually was scheduled to be here, obviously today, but they had an uh, all-employee meeting, and so he decided to text me his remarks. And I just realized as I'm reading that I'm the only one who actually has them, so I'm probably going to get credited with all the success of Commerce Hub, I assume, because you guys have no idea what he actually wrote. <laughs> So here it is. Uh, thank you for the award. Uh, it's unfortunate we can't be here to accept the award in person. We recently celebrated our 20th anniversary, and it's amazing to see how much the startup scene has changed in New York, especially upstate during the last 20 years. Startups are now seen as an important driver of economic growth, and it's been great to see so many companies thrive and grow in the capital region and throughout upstate. Back in 1997, it seemed that the Center for Economic Growth beer bashes at Browns and Troy were all we had for support and networking. But as the region has grown, we've all seen a strong support system emerge with advisors, angels, incubators, and public-private partnerships. This kind of ecosystem is critical to the small teams that labor away with a clear vision of what they want to achieve, but few of the resources that actually make it happen. Because there wasn't much of a support system for entrepreneurs when we started the company, the generosity and commitment of individuals was critical for the support, and in some cases, the funding to build a business upstate. For example, it was invaluable to have people like Larry Davis, who even in 1997 had already built and sold a software business, and was always available to provide guidance and support. Glenn Rockwood was another person who was helpful, not only as an early advisor and investor, but also as a customer. And finally, Jim Trainer at TS Capital, which was the venture arm of Troy Savings, was local to the region and our first institutional investor. Today we're trading Na on NASDAQ with a market cap of almost a billion dollars, of which he texts me every day saying how close he is to a billion dollars. <laughs> we didn't follow the standard VC to IPO playbook, but we still got here. Today's entrepreneurs have a strong ecosystem of support for their companies right here in upstate New York. For those that can follow through on big ideas with hard work, the opportunity to build a public company is right here in the Empire State. So that's from Frank. All right, one more left. And that is the Ecosystem Champion Award. This is for individuals who are catalyzing and supporting startup activity across multiple upstate communities. Your finalists. We have Dick Frederick, founding partner of Eastern New York Angels. Teresa Mazzullo, the CEO of Excel Partners. And it's something a little bit interesting for us this year. We have a company uh, that is actually being represented in the Ecosystem Championship category, and that's NYSERDA, New York State Research and Energy Authority. And the reason why is as the judges were looking through the list of nominees for Ecosystem Champion this year, they saw that so many of them had a NYSERDA tie. They were either direct employees or they were working with a proof of concept center or an incubator of such that NYSERDA is supporting. That being said, your 2017 Ecosystem Championship Award winner is NYSERDA. Nick Quarkus, program manager on behalf of NYSERDA, is going to accept this award. Uh, in speaking with Nick a, a little bit ago, the three things that I, I must say is NYSERDA 76 West, which we heard about today. We also heard about their Clean Energy Fund. And what was the third one that you liked? You liked the incubators and proof of concept centers and that they the have IR throughout upstate New York core. and manufacturing yeah. core and entrepreneurs and residents. And take it away, Nick. Right. Well, thank you very much. I'm happy to accept this award on behalf of NYSERDA. Um, key people here, Mike Shimazu is the architect behind many of our most successful programs from the beginning. Uh, Jeff Peterson, who couldn't join us today, uh, has been building these programs since day one. 
as well as Eric Iannotti and Steve Wolk, who are here with us today, who are helping us get to the next level. None of this could be possible if we didn't have leadership that actually get what all of us in this room are trying to do on a daily basis. So I'd like to thank the leadership at NYSERDA for that as well. Um, and all the companies, the entrepreneurs, and the partners in this room that we work with on a daily basis that are able to actually make an impact in, in the community across the state and help us achieve the goals that we've set out. So thank you, and if anybody doesn't know, uh, NYSERDA is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. We're the state's energy research and innovation agency, and we're investing about $100 million over the next, uh, we're, excuse me, we're investing about $800 million over the next 10 years, uh, predominantly through direct investments in the pre-Series B space for energy and environment-related companies. So if you're not an energy entrepreneur, you should think about it because we're deploying a lot of capital in this, in this space. And we're also providing a lot of wraparound commercialization support through the incubators and proof of concept centers and other programs um, that we sponsor and the folks that in this room um, administer. So thanks again, appreciate it. So really, really quick, because we are a little bit over time, but not significant, I think you'll be okay. Uh, I want to thank the team on behalf of Upstate Venture Connect to thank our team, Martin Babinick, Nasser Ali, Mary Lou Herringshaw, exceptional friends and mentors of me throughout these last couple of years. It's really been an honor to learn from you and work from you. Thank you. And Biz Events, of course, Visual Technologies, who's handling our video, Jerry Kleinberg, who's been taking pictures, Jennifer Ding on social media, and of course, the Marriott Syracuse downtown. It was really a, a really cool uh, mix of innovation and history to be here today. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Upstate Venture Connect is a 501c3 nonprofit. So as you think about your holiday giving, you can go onto our website at uvc.org slash donate and you can make a tax deductible donation. 